Hey there, it's Rosie, and in this video, I'm making my peach blueberry cobbler crisp. It's easy and delicious. So if you missed out on my previous video, I made baked turkey wings, so go check it out. I'll leave a link at the end of this video. So let's start off with our peaches. I have some frozen peaches and I added a little bit of water as well. I'm now going to start sprinkling in some ground cinnamon and I'm now adding in a pinch of nutmeg. And when I say a pinch, I mean a pinch. So now I'm going to sprinkle in some granulated sugar and I want to mix everything, make sure everything is well combined. And now I'm going to turn my heat up to medium high. Let's add in our blueberries at this time. And I don't know if you can tell, but these are frozen too. Now, if you have a thing against frozen fruits, go on and use fresh or canned, whatever you want to use. That's what I want you to use. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And now I am sprinkling in some all-purpose flour. Now, I know you're saying, what is the all-purpose flour about? That is going to help thicken our cobbler filling. So do not skip out on that. Otherwise, your cobbler is going to be runny. So let's transfer all of that filling into a nice baked dish and we're going to let that sit and now we're working on our crumb topping so you're going to need some graham cracker crumbs you're also going to need some brown sugar and you're going to need some quick oats now mix all those ingredients until it's well combined and now we're going to add in some melted butter or margarine and I made sure that my butter was salted I prefer salted I don't like using unsalted butter um, most of the time I should say so mix that until it's well combined and now we're going to sprinkle all of that crisp on top of this cobbler filling so don't forget if you want the exact measurement it can be found at iheartrecipes.com and I will also leave a link down below in the description box so make sure all the surfaces of that cobbler is covered with the crisp and now we're ready to pop this in the oven on 350 Fahrenheit for 25 to 30 minutes when the cobbler comes out this is what you have it's nice and bubbling it's pretty darn hot so let it sit some time before you decide to dig on in and I personally always just wait about 15 minutes I can never wait the whole 30 minutes even though I tell you guys that sometimes I mean those are the instructions and directions but I can never wait I'm greedy like that so I'm just going to dig on in and I'm gonna dish it out and I like to serve mine with ice cream what do you like serving your cobblers and pies with leave it down below thank you for watching and in my next video I'm going to share my recipe for white chocolate cranberry cheesecake subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you soon